hey guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl sylvia so today we are doing a microblading tutorial on um the fake skin so what you need is your microblading pen and your blade or your needle so i'm trying to get out my u blade because that's what i'm using um i don't like the slant blade i prefer the u blade to the slant blade so once you get it out you just um, lose the screw and then insert the blade um, you slant it as well that way you can be more precise when you're um, using the blade then you screw it back okay so that's that I already have my ink in my um, ink cup so I'll just go ahead and start the process so the first thing you need to do is the front part of the brows okay so my first stroke will be me um, taking the stroke from the bottom part of the line to the middle point of the brows or above the middle point of the brows but it will not get to the tip of the upper part of the brows and the second line is me starting from um, above the middle point but getting to the top part of the brow so basically your stroke starts from the bottom all the way midway to the top part of the bra and then the second line starts from midway of the bottom part of the brows to the top part of the brows i hope you understand um, what i'm trying to say okay so basically it's ju they're just lines that start from the bottom but doesn't get to the top and the second line is from the middle all the way to the top that way you make your strokes look more natural okay so this is what i'm trying to show you and once i'm done i think i do that five times and then i start slanting my strokes so as you can see i'm going um for the bottom part of the brows i'm going in you know a slanty um direction so please make sure your lines are not straight try and curve them as much as you can um, you're not supposed to do a C curve you're just supposed to you know curve the line if that makes sense okay so I'm just going to be doing that I'm going to be taking the line um, in a slantward motion for the bottom part of the brows and that's what I'm going to do till I get to the tail of the brows So another tip you should know is that when you're working on the skin, stretch the, the client's skin so that the ink can get into the skin and you don't need to press the blade into the skin, okay? You have to be subtle but precise, okay? So don't draw harsh lines on because your customers will bleed, okay? And we don't want that. So just draw your lines stretch the skin draw the line so that the ink can get in to the skin okay so that's that so as you can see this method is very simple um, it doesn't require you to you know do um, much stress this is like easy strokes that you can do and get that um, natural looking microbladed brows so the next thing I'm doing is I'm um, going from the top part of the brows so you see this line is more curved and it's coming from the upper part of the brows the line so basically you start the curve from the top of the outline and curve it downwards okay so from the top and curve it downwards from the top so that it gives that outlined look at the top and natural look on the brows if that makes sense so basically you're coming from you're following the line to start the curve okay you're following the line of the brows to start the curve so that's that that way when you're done with your work it looks like the brows are ready to go so all the customer needs to do or the client needs to do is just shape their hair and that brows will pop the eyebrow will pop 
very well so you just basically follow the line as i said from the um top of the brows okay so once i'm done with that i go back to fill in as you can see there are spaces and we don't want spaces in our brows but we don't want the line to touch each other so i'm just going to go and fill the brows up so you can do a slant curve in the space in between okay so that's what you do and just fill that in So guys, I'm done, almost done filling in the brows. So after this whole process, you go ahead and clean your brows, um, get rid of the ink on the skin. Okay, so that brings me to the end of this um, practice session. So if you have any question about microblading, just leave it in the comment section. I will definitely answer you so when you're cleaning ink please be careful because as you can see I got ink on my table and if this stains it's going to be difficult to um, clean all right so just leave your com your questions in the comment section make sure you subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching bye